How much heat is required to convert 45 grams of steam at 150 degrees Celsius to ice at negative 80 degrees Celsius? We're given the heat of vaporization, the heat of fusion, and the specific heat of water, steam, and ice. So first I'll talk about the different types of heat. Heat is designated by Q. So on the one hand, we have sensible heat. And sensible heat is due to a temperature change. And the formula that we can use to calculate sensible heat is Q equals M, the mass, times C, the specific heat, times delta T. We also have a type of heat called latent heat, and this is due to phase changes. And the formula is a bit different in this case, and Q is equivalent to N, the number of moles, times delta H of fusion, vaporization, etc., whatever the phase change in question may be. And if you'll notice, I'm using mass for one formula and moles for another formula. And this is just based on looking at the information given in the problem statement. The heat of vaporization and fusion is in per mole. So I'm multiplying by moles to obtain units of kilojoules. And the specific heats are in units of per kilogram Kelvin. So I want my mass to be in kilograms for the units to cancel. I think it is helpful to write out a chart describing the different transitions happening in the system. So we start off with steam at 150 degrees Celsius. And as we cool, we will get steam at 100 degrees Celsius. And this is an example of a change that is accompanied by sensible heat. And once we are at steam at 100 degrees Celsius, as we continue to cool, we will form a liquid at 100 degrees Celsius. And this transition, we will use the latent heat formula for. And in this case, we will use the negative heat of vaporization because instead of converting from a liquid to a vapor, we're converting from a vapor to a liquid. And then we cool to a liquid at zero degrees Celsius, which we will write the formula out for sensible heat to describe this transition. Then we will transition to ice at zero degrees Celsius, and this will be described by latent heat because it's a phase transition, and we will use the negative heat of fusion, because the heat of fusion describes the transition from solid to a liquid, and in this case, we're transitioning from a liquid to a solid. And finally, we cool to ice at negative 80 degrees Celsius, and this will be described by sensible heat. Now I will make sure that I have the correct units I need. So I know I need to convert my 45 grams of steam into kilograms of steam and moles of steam. So we know 45 grams is the same thing as 0 0.045 kilograms. And then we can convert 45 grams to moles by using the conversion factor that for one mole of steam we have 18 grams, and that is equivalent to 2.5 moles of H2O. We also need to talk about units for temperature changes. So if I wanted the temperature change from 48 degrees Celsius to 24 degrees Celsius, I would write out that delta T equals 24 degrees Celsius minus 48 degrees Celsius. But let's say I wanted that same temperature difference in Kelvin. I could convert 24 degrees Celsius to Kelvin by adding 273. I can do the same thing by adding 273 to 48 degrees Celsius to convert to Kelvin. And you'll notice that the 273s cancel and we're left with the same temperature difference amount. So in Celsius or Kelvin, it will end up being the same. So in this case, when we're finding our changes in temperature, we don't have to convert to Kelvin every time, even though in our problem statement, our specific heats are in units of per Kelvin. 
Although it is helpful to always convert if you have time, because that way if you're not dealing with a change in temperature, you won't accidentally forget to do the conversion. Now I'll start by writing the equation for Q by combining all the equations describing each transition in the chart that we made here. So we'll start with steam at 150 degrees Celsius being cooled to steam at 100 degrees Celsius. So to describe that transition, we're going to use the sensible heat formula, which is our mass, 0 0.045 kilograms. And we're going to multiply this by the specific heat of steam given in our problem statement and make sure that you use the correct specific heat. And then we will multiply by our temperature difference so our units cancel out. And this way our units of Kelvin cancel out, our units of kilogram cancel out, and we're left with units of kilojoules. And now we can move on to describing the change from steam at 100 degrees Celsius to liquid at 100 degrees Celsius. So this is going to be described by the latent heat formula. So we're going to add 2.5 moles times negative 40.6 kilojoules per mole. And this is the negative heat of vaporization given in the problem statement. And similarly, you can do this for the other transitions. I'll write out the equation and you can see if you agree with my results. Now that I have the full equation written out, I can plug in the variables into a calculator and I get that Q equals negative 147.3 kilojoules.